Yeah. 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 Verse 4 says, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Once again, men and women of ripe old age will sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with cane in hand because of his age. The city streets would be filled with boys and girls playing there. So this is a prophecy, Israel is in exile, and uh, this is a prophecy about coming back to the land. Once again, we will be in the city of Jerusalem. Now you have to remember, this uh, for 2,000 years, this has been the cry of the Jewish people. Then we have a state of Israel, but we don't have Jerusalem. So we still didn't have, you know, our heart's cries to be living in the streets of Jerusalem once again. So right over here, you see all the kids there right now. You can see some ladies sitting in the back over there. But this used to be a playground. It will be again. But where those kids are sitting in on this wall uh, closest to us, there are benches lined all around it. If you come here on a Friday afternoon, right after everyone gets off of work, the kids come home from school, um, the most common thing to see is parents walk in, give the kids to the grandparents, and the grandparents take the kids to the park. The park, I'm sorry, the kids go nuts on the playground, and the grandparents are sitting there with their canes, chit-chatting about the news or whatnot, big smiles, just sitting here up against the wall, and the kids are going nuts on the playground. It's phenomenal. That was Zachariah what? Zachariah 8, yes. So once again, we're standing in front of the broad wall, which is a, a level of destruction from first temple period, okay? Uh, cities rebuilt, destroyed once again. But here we have prophecy fulfilled right in front of the ancient city of Jerusalem. When this city was here, this was not the cry of Israel. We had a land. It's when this gets destroyed that we start crying out to God for the return to Zion. Well, we do come back 80 years later. And after that, the city is destroyed and we're sitting there. Ah, 2,000 years now in Jerusalem, how can we live? And now right in front of that, we have the reborn Jerusalem. Prophecy fulfilled. Met old men and women sitting here enjoying the fruit of their loins, grandkids all over the place, and uh, prophecy right in front of us. Come to reality. It's a beautiful place. And this is every Friday you can see this. Okay? Now it's just kids, no playground. But we'll go back around that. And Mama's up.